the big boys right over here, just chilling. Hey everyone, it's me Dennis with more Brian unboxing videos. Um, I have six horses in these two packages right here. I don't know if you can see them or not, I don't want to show my address, but there's four in the bottom one and there's two in the one from the top. And so um, I'll open these ones at the end. Um, there are horses in here that you would not expect me to have, so you better stay tuned for that. And also, I'll be wearing my Dink Yard merch at the end of the video. I don't want to wear it now because it's already pretty hot in here and it's a hoodie. I don't want to die, okay? There's a pretty cool story with the horses I have in here. There's, um, there's a catch me in here and I've been, you know, not wanting to buy this horse for a very long time because they usually come in very light colors and variations and I was like, I don't want to have a white horse. Like, yeah, you would say it's gray, but it's too light, right? So if it's too light, then I don't want it. And so what I did was actually message the seller and left a comment with my order telling them that I want, that I would like, and I would really appreciate it if they would handpick a dark variation of Cashmere for me. And guess what? They did that. They messaged me telling me they found one for me, and that was really nice. Let's unbox these bad boys up. This was, in fact, a lot of money. You know what I mean? I would be linking the seller down below from where I bought these horses. This is so cool. We're gonna pull them out one by one. I wanna save Cash Me um, for the end. Um, so the first one is Stingray. Now, I did not wanna buy this horse. I was like, dude, this is just lame. For some reason, people don't like this mold, and in my opinion, it is underrated. Like, there's nothing wrong with the mold. Um, it's a beautiful horse, and this one is a chestnut. It's a flax and chestnut horse. It's on the uh, Riot mold, I believe it's called. Um, I have Bozeman on this mold, I'm not sure you can see it actually. Without without all these, um, I have 11 more in the way, and it's like, where am I gonna put all of them? Okay, the next one is a horse that I actually, well, I'm gonna unbox. Okay, we're gonna go with this one first. So this is Theo. This is a big chunky boy. It's a really big horse. I thought it was a smaller mold, but um, again, I have been postponing this horse, I mean buying this horse for a very long time. Um, you know, the mold is really cool. Now, I'm not sure about how I feel about the face of the horse and the eyes, they are a bit weird. And again, this is a, um, pretty sure it's a bay roan horse. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty nice horse, I wanna unbox it. Wow. Dude, those knockers. Not only is the horse chunky, but so are its bowls. And then we have a horse that I hated. I freaking hated this horse and somehow it grew on me. Um, the horse's face is what threw me off all the time. The horse, to me, looks like a cricket. So this is Wings. Um, I don't know, dude. Like, the face, even now looking at it, it looks like a cricket to me. The box is really cool, though. Like, the box of this briar is insanely good looking. Yeah, um, this is Wings. Again, still looking like a cricket to me. And then the last one is Catch Me. They said they picked a grey one for me, a dark shaded one. You guys, you have to see it first. Because of the lightning, it's probably gonna look really light to you guys. Maybe it's darker than you can see it right now. Oh my god. Yeah, it looks nice. It's, it, it looks... What the heck? It's got plastic... Like... If you can see that like flying around his mouth, like melting on the mouth. I will be unboxing this horse and showing you guys what I mean. But yeah, it's got a pretty dark, a dark face, it's got dark dapples. It's a gelding. My man has lost his bones. Feels bad, man. Alright, so I will be unboxing these afterwards. The horse in real life is stunning though. I'm seeing a picture of it right now. The dappling is really good. However, the real life horse looks like it's got star dapples and this one does not which is sad so now let's move on to the horses i didn't think i would buy i'm kind of excited these are really really old horses and that's again a spoiler but they're really old like i'm talking over 40 years i think and so i already gave it away it's in fact a vintage horse this is what it came in um I do not like this packaging. There's no bubble wrap, there's only freaking tissues. That's the only thing I'm getting. You know, I could wipe my ass with these. Okay, so there's no bubble wrap. If the horse is broken, I'm not gonna be surprised. It 
feels weird. The texture is really weird. It's really light too. Yeah, this is an Arabian Mare horse. I really do like this mold, my first um, vintage horse. It feels very sticky and gross. I don't know if it's because it's a chalky horse. Is it chalky? I don't know. I don't know what chalky means. What I like about these horses, I think it's their faces. Yeah, it's a really nice horse. Um, however, the packaging was really bad. It's a baby pole. They're so light. Um, there's something I noticed about this sculpture. Right over here, when it comes to the ears, the space between the ears is kind of like filled with plastic. And it shouldn't be. Um, but it's just because you know, they're old, very old sculptures and I have all my respect to the sculptors. Um, yeah, these are my first vintage horses ever. Um, this is the Arabian Mare, um, dappled grey I believe, and then this is the foal that it comes with. Okay, I'll be unboxing the horses and then giving you guys a close-up. However, before I do that, I want to show you guys the merchandise. Um, I don't like the fact that it's really purpley, it's really saturated. Um, I don't know why the spring team, the ones designing the merchandise, I don't know why they oversaturated a horse, I don't know. To me, it makes no sense. So, I've been wearing this for a very long time, so if it looks gross, just know that I've been... This is what it looks like, it's really comfortable, there's like the soft material going on, this is what it looks like. Um, again, the coloring is not accurate, which made me really upset, I got in contact with them, and so... Um, yeah, I was disappointed by the response, however, um, I'm happy with it. Thank you to everyone that bought my merchandise, it's still up for sale, if you want to buy it, then there's a link in the description box, and it'll make my day. If you did buy the merchandise and want to be featured in one of my videos, then please send me an Instagram picture of you wearing the merch. Alright, let's show you guys what these little rats look like up close. I've always wanted to see this in my room and pretend I have a briar store. Um, so again, this is Stingray. Pretty beautiful horse. And then we have Theo. Again, nice Belgian horse, draft horse. And then we have Catch Me, which came in a very nice variation. Can you guys see the plastic that's hanging on his mouth? There's a piece of plastic there. It's pretty like a navy blue color. And then there's Winx, my little new cricket. Yeah, these are my new horses. Oh, and again, my first vintage horses.